Hello, a few people on uh, YouTube and Facebook have asked what I feed my ferrets or what's the best thing to feed your ferrets. Now I always say um, raw meat. Some people don't, they can feed um, biscuits, you can buy ferret feast, it is one alternative. But I myself, I always feed my ferrets raw meat right through the summer. Normally it'll be rabbits, and if I don't have any rabbits, I tend to buy them meat. Now I'm going to show you what sort of meat I buy and what I do with it. So, here, I'll just show you this packet. Here we've got Yorkshire Red Ox Kidney, 93 pence. Chicken wings, the cheapest chicken wings you can buy. That was £1.64, just short of 700 grams. And then also um, diced ox heart. So this is already chopped up, £1.36. So all in all, for these three packs, it's £3.93. Now, I'm going to be feeding this for eight ferrets. Now, this, when it's chopped up, will last probably about four days. Um, normally, I'd buy two packs of each, chop it all up. Um, bag it up into your normal freezer bags, just like these, and then um, freeze it. And then one bag full or half, you know, one bag will last them two days. So, what I'm going to quickly show you what I'm going to do is, is chop it all up and then bag it up and show you what it's like. So, we'll start off with the chicken wings. These a little bit frozen, which do chop better than the cold and frozen. Now if you wanted, you could chuck in a whole chicken wing. The problem you've got is when you've got five or six ferrets, or three or four ferrets, or however many you've got, they'll fight over that one wing. So what I do is chop it up into just small pieces. Leave the bone in, don't worry about the bone. And then so all you're looking for is roughly pieces of that sort of size. Right, so that's the chicken wings chopped up, just to show you what it looks like. Just chopped up chicken wings. The next is the kidneys. Now, these have all been bought, obviously, from a supermarket. So they're all fit to eat. There's nothing wrong with feeding ferrets pig kidney, pig heart, pig liver. We've no added salt to it, it's just the organ straight from the pig. What you've got to watch for if you feed pork is you don't want any processed meat such as bacon, ham, um, gammon, them sort of have all been cured with salt or could have been cured with salt and you tend to have really high salt content. Uh, as for the kidneys and liver, heart if you can buy it, it's pretty cheap to buy from the supermarkets. To be honest it's even cheaper if you go to a butcher and buy it from a butcher because you'll get a whole hot ox heart a sort of this size for a couple of quid and you can chop that all up bag it up freeze it and you'll have three times as much as what i have there the only reason i buy it like this is because i don't always have time to get to a butcher's when they're open supermarkets are open longer and i go there at least once a week and i can buy what as and when i need it so again with the liver uh, the kidney chop it up like i say this is so partially frozen so it's easy just to chop. Now, it would work out quite expensive to feed this all the time, week in, week out. That's why I say I only 
tend to buy this and feed this to them when I have no rabbits. So the rest of the time, it'll just be a whole rabbit chucked in that's been gutted after it's been caught, shot. Pretty soon I'll be going out shooting rabbits on a night using air rifle or night vision. Just go and shoot rabbits um, just to keep on top of numbers. Also to feed ferrets. Packed in using them for hunting now because ferrets are in season. One of my jills is now hopefully pregnant. Um, and the other two have been took out of season. So that's the kidney chopped up. And then the heart, the ox heart, which is already diced really. Um, but you just find there's quite a few big pieces in it still. And the only reason I cut it up to this size is just so they don't fight over it. You'll end up with two ferrets with one big piece and, and they will fight over it. So I tend to chop it up small enough so they all get a piece each at a time and then they fight over what's left. That looks pretty chopped up really. So basically Basically got there now, um, heart, kidney and chicken, oh, chicken wings on the bone, all chopped up. Well, the other thing I also give them, um, on top of this, I'll give them a raw chicken egg. Raw chicken egg. That'll go into the dish when I serve them it. I also give them goat's milk. A lot of people have said can't give them milk, shouldn't give them milk, lactose intolerant. Goat's milk, I've never had a problem. Um, seems to be absolutely fine, doesn't give them a diarrhea or anything like that. They're all healthy ferrets. So, what I'll do is I'll get some of the food out that I've already prepared and um, I'll dish it up. Right, just to show you um, what I feed them. That's basically a mixture of uh, the heart, kidney and chicken wings. That's for my five hobs. This is for my three gills. Basically the same, just not as much. Um, they've been separated now with them being in season. So I'm just going to crack a raw egg over the top of that one. Same again. Over that one. egg and then just splash goat's milk and that is what they get that's basically what I feed them once a day on a night doesn't matter whether we're going out hunting the following day always feed them on a night the only difference that I feed them is if I give them a whole rabbit and then the rabbit will stay in there for two maybe two and a half, three days maybe, depending on how quick they eat it. But that is basically it. No more, no less. Um, and then all I do with what I've cut up, it will be a handful of each into one of them bags. And then that'll last about two days. And I chuck it back in the freezer. It'll be maybe three, four bags of that, depending on how much you buy at a time. And it goes in the freezer as long as it lasts. Okay, so we've got freezer bag. Do it on. Right, we'll probably get about three bags out of this. So, if a bag lasts two days, so what we've got here, looking at maybe a week's worth. So that's what I put in a bag. Let me put a little bit more in that one.
there you go, that's another bag. So then what's left there, I'll leave that in the fridge for tomorrow night. And then them two bags can go in the freezer. So we've got roughly five days worth for three quid. Like I say, you can buy it from the butchers for more, uh, get more for less. Um, you can buy bigger packs or more quantities. You can buy mince, a little bit more expensive. But basically, all our food is raw meat. The higher the protein, the better. As for ferret biscuits, again, higher the protein quantity, the better it's going to be for your ferrets. They need a high protein diet. No cat food, no dog food.